Hey guys, it's Good Dog Gaming and welcome back to my channel. Today I've kind of got a bit of a weird idea for my video. Um, I was kind of sitting at home in my pants, playing Splatoon and I thought, you know what, I could actually do something pretty productive and I just had a kind of weird idea and basically, as you can probably already tell by the title of this video, I'm going to test out what I deem to be like the noob weapons in Splatoon 2 and I'm going to come to a conclusion at the end of the video um, with which one is the best. So I'm actually using three weapons, um, the Carbon Roller as you can see here, the Octobrush Novu and the Ink Rush Novu. Now one thing I should say, they're, I'm going to split them basically into the Roller, the Octobrush and the Ink Brush. However, with each kind of weapon you've got different kinds that have different specials um, different range different speed etc so i'll let you guys know just a little bit about the weapons i'm gonna use and um, because i will show you some gameplay of it um and i will like talk about why i believe this weapon to be the most superior noob weapon etc so with the um carbon roller um it's got pretty bad range it's pretty low the ink speed is pretty high up and i do notice that when i'm actually using this um in turf war or just generally whenever i'm using this weapon in an online battle mode that i am going much faster than other people so it is quite good to kind of run away from people the handling as well is pretty good it's uh, just a little bit higher than ink speed. Now I should also mention the sub weapon is the auto bomb which is one of my favourite sub weapons to be honest because it kind of runs after um, the enemy so I find that very useful. And then the special is the ink storm. I don't think the special is very good. It's probably my least favourite special in Splatoon 2 and you get 160 points for it. Now as you can see straight away I go quite quick with this you know. It does have quite a wide amount of kind of space it paints. I can also use things like jump and kind of do that and it seems to be quite a powerful kind of hit. However, what I will say about the special is if you look now, it's not really doing much. You know, I wouldn't use this special and think it's really going to make much of a difference. It doesn't really give me much points either. Another great thing about the roller is you can literally just roll over people. Right, we're going to use one of our subs now, put it down here and see how it works. So that was good, if you saw that there it just went straight up to the guy and killed him. Now it's very easy to take people out, you can literally run over them or you can do a more kind of difficult approach I guess. Got quite good defence going, you know, granted your aim isn't as great as others but you're able to kind of easily get away from situations. You know, with a gun you've kind of get multiple shots whereas with the roller, unless you're rolling over them, it's really more like you just get these kind of pounds on the ground. Now the great thing about the carbon roller is even when the enemy team is seemingly quite far ahead, especially in turf when they've painted quite a lot, you can really easily erase that essentially and deal with it quicker. Like as you can see in the map, a lot of this is getting covered very quick so that's a definite benefit. I managed to take back quite a lot so it'll be really interesting to see the amount of points I got because I feel like I painted a lot of turf um, especially with the roller. So I get 1864, 1000 is added when you win so 864 on its own with the roller is pretty good. Um, it didn't take much skill or anything like that and basically just running about and I died quite a few times as well so I'd say the roller is really quite good for regaining turf. Okay, so now we're going to change it up a little bit. I feel like I've got quite a lot um, of footage of the carbon roller and I've kind of explained to you the kind of pros and cons of it. Um, the ink speed is a complete complete pro. There's nothing bad about that. You're going much quicker than other people. It means you can easily escape as you've seen in the kind of gameplay. Um, the handling's very good. Um, the range is pretty bad to be honest. Um, same with the special but I hope that you've seen through the gameplay that the sub is actually pretty decent. So I would give the carbon roller 
a pretty high up there score. Um, it's probably like, uh, in comparison, I'm thinking maybe, maybe like an eight out of 10 because you can literally just run people over or you can hit people once and that's them done. Whereas with any other weapon, like a gun or something like that, you have to hit them quite a few, few times. So I would give it an eight out of 10. So the Octobush Novu range is just a little bit higher than the Carbon Roller. The ink speed is much, much higher, you know, so I can't wait to try this out and see what the ink speed's gonna be like. The handling as well is a lot higher, so that'll be great. However, the sub in this is very weak. It's a squid beacon. It means you can kind of jump to that area. It doesn't do anything to stop your enemies, etc. You've got the Tenta missiles for your special. I don't really like this one either. I don't really feel like it does much. It hardly kind of catches anyone because you can quite easily dodge them. However, the points of the special is more than the carbon roller. It's 10 points more. So, as you can see, you can hold it down to paint like this, but you really don't paint a big amount. So, if you kind of paint like this, you do go much slower, but you're still painting a lot. However, it's really not as much as a roller, and it is losing... It means you lose a lot of ink. Now, let's use a special again. Uh, got a few people. Let's see if we get if we hit them. I have the feeling we won't. Nope. Now just for the general weapon, we're not really gaining that many points. Even when we do that kind of, you know, constantly pressing ZR and going like this, you don't gain that many and I don't feel like the paint's that good either. Let's try this sub. Useless. <laughs> Let's try the um, special again. As you can see, that's it there. It's semi-useful, I guess. Um, I don't like it. I don't think it's really that good. I would try and get a weapon that didn't have this. what I hate right because I'm quite a big roller fan so I hate the fact that I lose quite a lot of ink for hardly painting anything so I feel from a general kind of standpoint and turf war and using this weapon during turf war how are you supposed to paint that much and it doesn't seem to have the best combat either so I don't really see the benefit for it plus the range is oh no <laughs> Yeah, again, I hit her pretty good, but didn't kill her. She got me pretty quickly after a few shots. So I feel like the painting is actually very weak and I feel like the general kind of defense is bad. handling in this doesn't feel that great because it feels like I'm just kind of recklessly painting and it doesn't feel like it's really doing anything to be honest. I feel like unless it's kind of a sneak thing I'm very unlikely to get an easy kill. Hey guys so that's me finished using the auto brush. Um, yeah, I really don't like it actually. Um, in comparison to the carbon roller, I can notice quite a lot of differences, um, quite big negatives I'd say. So see if you look for instance at the range, it's higher than the carbon roller, it doesn't feel like that to be honest. Um, the handling um, is lower, oh no sorry, the handling is higher than the carbon roller, same with the ink speed. Now I completely get the ink speed thing. The th I would just say it's completely useless though because when you go fast you hardly paint anything, you're painting a tiny little line whereas when you go fast with a carbon roller you are still painting a lot and you are going pretty fast, much faster than people who are using other weapons like the splatter shot or stuff like that. Now going back to the sub and the specials, the sub was useless for me, it takes quite a bit of ink and it gives you somewhere to jump into in the map, but I was just a bit like, 
I was never really in that situation that I was like, oh no, I can't jump to another team member. So I find it absolutely useless. It didn't kill anyone. So in comparison to the carbon roller and the auto bomb, I thought it was way weaker because the auto bomb is very good. It's a bomb. Um, a special as well, I really didn't like it. I hardly killed anyone, as you can probably see, unless someone was maybe like an AFK player and they're just standing in the same spot and they don't move, I got them then. Um, I also felt with the auto brush, like when I'm painting, although it looks like a lot because you're kind of doing that kind of movement where it's like you're jumping and you're spraying a lot of ink, it doesn't, it doesn't feel like it though because I don't seem to get that many points even when I do like a round and I win my main two thoughts in my head are if it was just a team of auto brush or it was a weaker team we would not have won that with the auto brush whereas I feel it like with a carbon roller it can help you get a few points because it's got much more power you're able to kill people a lot more easier Whereas with the Octo Brush, um, I felt like it just wasn't that great. If I came up against someone who had um, an Octo Brush, we'd both just die. Or if I came up against someone who had the roller, they could get me in one hit because it's a way more powerful blast of ink. Even with a gun, like I feel like because the um, it's more precise than a gun the way you shoot, um, they could get me pretty quick. Even if I was facing the person straight on with the ultra brush and I hit them a few times, they wouldn't die, you know, whereas I could hit them twice and they could hit me once and it would just be one shot and that'd be it. It seems like almost like I was being sniped. So yeah, from my point of view, the ultra brush, it's not really get any pros for me. Um, the speed is useless because you hardly paint anything. When you do paint, it feels like you're wasting a huge amount of ink for hardly anything. So I feel like it takes a lot more time to do stuff. Um, the sub and the special, useless. Um, I don't think it's got any defense purposes, as you can probably see through the gameplay footage. It wasn't great against a lot of weapons, unless I'm doing like a sneak attack. But every weapon is good in a sneak attack because the other person doesn't know. So honestly, from a noob perspective, I would say the Octo Brush is way more difficult to use compared to the Carbon Roller. So I gave the Carbon Roller 8 out of 10. I would honestly give the Octo Brush a 6 out of 10 because um, I don't think you could win the game um, from a kind of painting perspective. Like, so we're tough for, you have to paint to win, and I don't think you could win with the um, octo brush because it doesn't seem to paint very well um, and then attack and defense purposes weak and then the specials and stuff oh I hate it so from a noob perspective it's not the best noob weapon so I'm sorry any octo brush fans but that is out of the running carbon roller is still ahead now the next one is the Inkbrush Novu. The range is so bad, it is the worst we have seen yet. However, the speed and the handling is right up to the top, so that'll be really interesting to see what that's like. Now, I can't really say much about the sub weapon because I haven't ever used the ink mine. I can't even recall seeing it in Turf War or anything like that. However, the special is probably my favourite special um, in Splatoon. It's the baller. I think this is really useful and you will see why during turf mode. Oh god, let's get this kind of feature, same as the auto brush. God, I hate that. However, it does go so quick. Like, it is so weird. But there we go. I hit this person and <laughs> I hit them a few times probably, maybe twice, and it was just one kind of bang off the carbon roller and I was gone. Um, but the special is very good. I enjoy the special and we'll be able to hopefully see what it is like for painting stuff. Let's detonate it. Yep, that's great. It paints quite a lot. Now what I quite like is for instance if I had a roller I could follow this person about and easily take up all the ink that they've just laid down. Um, I, I generally hate this kind of like uncontrolled painting kind of thing. I hate it. Mm. 
A good thing for speed is I can sneak up on people pretty quick. So I do enjoy that. Now that was a pretty horrific game, right? I got three kills. I liked how many times my specials came up, but I got 794 points, which actually isn't that bad for how badly I feel like I performed. So it's not as bad as the Ultra Bush. I feel like it's a little bit better, but I still don't really like it. So our final kind of review is for the ink brush which we just used. Now if we kind of look at the information about it, the range is very very weak and you do notice this. It doesn't, when you paint it doesn't go far. Like I kind of tilted the camera and a few of the times I played to try and show you like how far it kind of goes and it really, it really doesn't. It looks like I'm using so much ink that's kind of surrounding me around the side but not going ahead of me and you know if, we've got, if we come face to face with an e enemy they're gonna be in front of me um, so I need to have <laughs> you know this ink fly in front of me. The ink speed you definitely notice because it is incredibly quick. It is a bit kind of weird um, when you've been using a kind of normal speed weapon to then use something with full speed but I would I would honestly not suggest using the full ink speed because you'd lose quite a lot of ink for it so it's almost like you're being punished for going quite quick um, and you hardly paint anything it's that same little line you get with the octo brush so I don't see the point in it because you're using a lot of ink to paint nothing Um, the handling um. I didn't really think it was that good either, like the Ultra Brush, I don't like, it's partly because of the range to be honest, I feel like it's very difficult in, in combat situations to actually succeed with the Ink Brush or the Ultra Brush, I feel like they're very similar in this situation because I can face straight at someone, you know, and I can be throwing my ink at them, right, and you know, unless like they have really bad aim or a wee bit kind of halted um, and um, shooting back at me or something like that, I won't win because I feel like this ink just sprays about everywhere. Even when I've been super close up to someone, I feel like most, most of the time the ink just flies about rather than actually affecting them. So as a weapon for def um, attack, it's not great. Defence, the one thing I will say about the ink brush is that you can run away very quickly. Um, that's not great though, you don't want to spend all your turf war doing that. Now on to the good things about it. Um, the special is my favourite special, I think it's really useful because with the baller you can run about and lay quite a lot of ink down and then you can explode it at the end. So it's kind of got those two kind of combos to it which I really like. The submine, um, I actually didn't use it that many times um, to be honest because the baller is so useful so I just waited till um, I was available to get the special um, and use that. But I didn't, I don't think it would be useless, but I didn't find it like the most useful sub. I still think the carbon rollers kind of is an auto bomb thing. The little kind of like, yeah, the auto bomb, the little kind of walking bombs, I feel like they're way more useful. Um, but compared to the auto brush and the squid beacon sub, I felt that this sub was a lot better. So... I feel like points wise, this would probably be a 7, so we've got 7, 6 and 8 out of 10. From a noob perspective, these two weapons for me um, aren't that great if you're a beginner or you want kind of an easy win because with turf war anyway, you have got to paint and you've also got to defend yourself and for these, you can't really defend yourself that well. Um, you know, the special in this helps, um, it helps the painting as well, so that's one big pro I'll give it, but like, apart from the speed of them and being able to run away, I really don't feel like they're that useful for painting, you lose your ink quite a lot, and if you come up even against like a gun like the splatter shot, you know, the range is so much better than both of these, that I just feel like, you know, even if you've hit them once before, they're going to be able to splat you so easily if they've just got decent skill. So from a new perspective, I really wouldn't say these are that good. However, 
it is a matter of preference preference I really like the roller because I think it handles very well you're able to paint a lot I think the defense is good I can literally do it one kind of smack in the ground and someone's gone I can roll over people you know I can paint a lot and um, the special isn't great in the carbon roller but I like the sub a lot because it's almost like another kind of player out there you know it's going after someone and they actually can't kill this weapon they just have to run away from it Whereas with these two, um, you know, if you're someone who likes this kind of thing, I guess go for it. You know, I've always preferred the carbon roller. So this is just my opinion. Um, but I would honestly say the best noob weapon you can use in Splatoon 2 is the carbon roller because I feel like it paints a lot and it's got very good defense and it goes at quite a nice high speed. You can also access your special quite quickly as well so yeah that is my kind of opinion on that plus look how cool the carbon roller looks it's massive um so yeah thank you so much for watching this video it was a little kind of weird video i never really do these things um if you liked it give me a like tell me if there's anything else you'd like me to review and thank you so much for watching and i'll see you guys soon bye